Here's Brody Brazil. Today's a Saturday. I was just minding my own business, getting ready to cover a Sharks hockey game. And I know baseball season is reaching its pinnacle. The World Series is happening, but I certainly did not expect Oakland A's slash Las Vegas slash Howard Terminal News to break like it did today, but also to break as hard as it did with some Rob Manfred quotes. And actually, what he said when you listen to it versus the quotes that were presented without enough context to actually make sense of all of this. So that's what this video is all about. To kind of read through the lines here and what Rob Manfred actually said about the A's and Oakland and Las Vegas versus what a lot of people saw on Twitter or in a headline. So again, I showed up to the office not assuming anything about the A's was going to be at the forefront, but here it is. I was alerted to this Bob Nightingale tweet. It said at 1120 in the morning, Commissioner Rob Manfred tells Mad Dog Unleashed, that's Christopher Russo, the radio host and MLB Network television host, that he's no longer optimistic the A's will remain in Oakland. Quote, it just doesn't look like it's going to happen, end quote, and likely will move to Las Vegas. He believes the Rays will stay put with a new ballpark in Tampa. Whoa, that's a lot of news. That's a lot to digest. It hits you like a ton of bricks. That's, you understand, it's it's just a snippet of probably a larger portion of something that was said, but that alone right there is kind of enough to sink your ship. I mean, that that's pretty straightforward. That's pretty harsh if you're somebody that supports the A's staying put in Oakland and specifically at Howard Terminal. And then not to mention, I mean, the Rays as part of it, but all of a sudden he's feeling quite optimistic about them and pessimistic about the situation in Oakland. So I digest that, and my first thought in retaliation is, wait a second, this is Rob Manfred, baseball's commissioner, their crown jewel event, the World Series right now is going on. They typically hate to put a ton of attention on everything else when, yeah, their big thing, their once-a-year moment, the World Series, when all of literally the world, or at least our country, has all their eyes on two teams going for the the World Series trophy, but instead we're talking about Oakland and Tampa and stadium situations and and maybe a bit of the messier side of baseball. So to me, I put this on Twitter, the timing of Manfred uh, to be so bold on a topic like Oakland and to say what he said so straightforward, I mean like during the World Series, it's a bit interesting. Did something happen? Why is he saying this today on a Saturday? And yeah, I realize, of course, he's doing an interview. He was asked about it. He didn't come on the radio to talk about this specifically. He came on because it's a scheduled appearance. MLB is giving him a lot of media obligations like during the World Series, right? Take advantage of the spotlight. Put your commissioner out there. So on their own network, right? On MLB's own network, he does this interview and he says this. But why would you take away from the World Series? Why why would you kind of cause this stir up during what's supposed to be just a, a big celebration of a best of seven World Series? So it's interesting. He could have chose to avoid it. He could have chose to not go in as hard as he did. But that's that's initially what we thought from just seeing the tweet and seeing that one quote. Britt Giroli here. Uh, covers baseball for The Athletic. The initial tweet was, Manfred declined to talk to the media. Asked to follow up on the Oakland comments he made to Mad Dog Unleashed, he said, quote, I'm done talking about Oakland. Whoa, wait a second. You can't open this can of worms and then shut it back up and say you're done. You just got started. You, you left us on this entire cliffhanger. Wait a second. You can't do that. Now, that was my thought in that moment. Brid follows up with a retweet of that. Manfred said on Mad Dog Unleashed that Oakland was likely moving to Las Vegas. He told the media here he'd rather have this, gesturing to the players on the field at the World Series, be in the spotlight. So, like I said, let's not distract from the World Series. Let's not make a big stink out of this Oakland and Tampa thing. But he did. He talked about it. He was quoted in a certain way. It got put on social and... It went off and it caught everybody's attention. Now that you understand that, 
Let's get to this. News outlets before Rob Manfred said he didn't want to explain it further. He didn't want to clarify anything further. He didn't want to go into it anymore. Too late. Media outlets across the country, like one of the local stations here in the Bay Area, KTVU Channel 2, who I used to work for, uh, they're already just running with the headline, Major League Baseball Commissioner Rob Manfred said he no longer believes the Oakland A's will remain in the Bay Area. There's a cliffhanger here because when you hear it, it's not necessarily going to be that, right? So I'm not letting Rob off the hook here entirely. I'm not blaming the media entirely, although like what you're seeing here is not exactly how it played out. So the other half of this is obviously if Major League Baseball doesn't have Oakland where they want it in terms of a pace and progress and moving Howard Terminal along, is Las Vegas in a spot where baseball could capitalize and the A's could move? Like, we don't know much about a site or renderings or land or locations. We know nothing really about Southern Nevada other than the A's have been pursuing it. So my next thought was this, of course, put it on a tweet on Twitter. This also puts a lot of pressure on whatever negotiations are happening in Las Vegas, right, for the A's. To have Major League Baseball's top person leaning that way, right, to Southern Nevada would lessen any A's leverage in Nevada. If he's all of a sudden saying, well, it looks like they're going to Las Vegas. Well, if you're somebody who owns land in Las Vegas and you've been negotiating with the A's, it's like, whoa, we better uh, rework that deal. You need us a lot more than you did two days ago. So that's interesting too, right? To lean towards Las Vegas, if that's what we were reading into it, before you actually have anything set in stone down there. But then, kind of a breakthrough here. And I saw it, I feel like, at the same time my colleague Casey Pratt saw it, but I'll quote and and showcase what he put up first because it's textual and... This also kind of hits you right across the face when you read it. Casey said, wow, so I finally heard the actual comments from Manfred with Chris Russo. Guess Casey doesn't want to call him Mad Dog. Here they are transcribed. I don't think they were characterized correctly by a certain national reporter. And you can see what Casey highlighted here in yellow, the biggest and boldest part when Russo asks, so you think Oakland is going to Las Vegas? And Manfred said, I didn't say that. What I said, and I stand by it, given the lack of pace and lack of certainty, they have to be looking at Las Vegas. They need an alternative because they can't continue to play at the facility they're in. That's nothing new. We've been hearing that for months, if not a year, if not multiple years, and that doesn't necessarily take away from Oakland's endeavors of building a new ballpark. They just need to have multiple options they need to look in a lot of different places. So, In fairness, now that you've heard all the buildup and you understand like quotes and things being taken a bunch of different ways and and look, even Chris Russo doing this interview, how much does he know about the A's stadium situation in Howard Terminal? Does he follow it on a daily basis? I mean, I do, but that's kind of my job and it's more intimate to me. And Bob Nightingale covers Major League Baseball, has a ton of different uh, connections. I've met him. Uh, Nice guy, seems like. I don't think he means any ill intent here. I really don't. Some people are are throwing uh, bad thoughts and comments his way. Look, it just, it comes from a national perspective. I don't think he understood maybe even the magnitude of what he was repeating. But what he was repeating plays out differently than when you hear this. Oakland Tampa never seems to go away. When are we finally going to, is it, is Vegas and Nashville alternatives? Help me out with the, this age yeah. thing is, you can't have the baseball being played in that ballpark. This has got to end eventually. What's Look, the every, with them? everybody, I, I, I do want to say this. I think the mayor in Oakland has made a huge effort to try to get it done in Oakland. It just doesn't look doesn't, like you're not, you're it's going to happen. Positive. You're I'm not, not optimi- positive about you're not opti- it. You're not optimistic. I, I think the A's have proceeded prudently in terms of exploring the Las Vegas alternative. Given the lack of pace in Oakland, I think they have to look for an alternative. I see Tampa um, differently. Uh, I, I, I think a properly located 
facility in Tampa, um, that Tampa's a viable major league market. I got a lot of faith in Stu Sternberg. I, I, I think they will find a place to get a, ba- a ballpark built, and I think baseball can thrive in Tampa. All right. Does the NFL's got a deal where they give $115 million to owners if they go out there and build a stadium? Does True. baseball have that same deal that you can give Sternberg $115 million bucks? We have a different deal, actually. When a club builds a new stadium, they get to deduct the cost of the new stadium against their revenue, which in turn increases their revenue sharing. So it's not a one-time payment, but it is a revenue stream that they continue to get over a 10-year period. If Oakland does leave, when would that be? Look, Oakland, um, I, I, it's hard to say. I mean, Within five into, years? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That something has to happen, and we can't go five more years in the Coliseum. So, so, there, so right now, you you think at the end of the day, I'm not trying to get a sound bite here. I'm just trying to get down. You yeah, think right. at the end of the day, Oakland's going to Vegas? I didn't say that. I, I, I think that uh, what I said is, and I stand by, given the lack of pace in Oakland, so the lack of certainty, they have to be looking at Las Vegas. They need an alternative because they can't continue to play in the facility they're in. I'm not trying to get a soundbite, but I'm going to put words in your mouth. So you're saying they're going to Las Vegas. That's trying to get a soundbite, Chris. You know that. You're a radio professional. You've done this for decades. You're one of the OGs. You know what you were doing right there. But this doesn't mean anything to you because you're from New York. You couldn't care less about Oakland, the West Coast, the Oakland A's, or honestly, Las Vegas. You just, yeah, you couldn't care. You, you were just trying to dig, and that's what you do. And that's, and that's why people watch your program and whatever. Okay, so... All I'm saying is, though, if you listen to what Manfred said, how he said it, he's stating the obvious. I'll tell you the same thing. In five years, the Oakland A's will, will be playing not at the Coliseum. I'm pretty conf- I'm confident in that. I hope it's not Las Vegas. I hope it's Howard Terminal. But I, I agree. I don't see them playing there in five years. 2028, uh, not going to be at uh, off 880 in Hagenberger. It's not going to happen. So again, let me let me just say sometimes you need to actually hear the interview in its entirety. And I I didn't even play the whole thing. I'm only playing you the portion of where they're talking about this one subject. You need to sometimes not just take a quote and not just take a headline and think that you understand the whole conversation or the whole story because clearly here that was the case. A lot of people got misled and guess what? Now they're only going to see the headline. They're only going to talk to their friends about it. Did you hear what Manfred said? He said, they're gone. This is done. I told you. It's, oh, it's mind-numbing. And now a lot of people have to go back and explain, like, yeah, that's not what he said. It's not how he said it. Go back. And, and, and it's too late because it already got, it's, it's like spilling paint everywhere and then letting it dry. And what are you going to do now? Well, paint over it. You can't move the paint. I'll just share with you um, one of my goals by the end of 2022 is to have a very specific exclusive interview with Rob Manfred. And I don't know if it's going to happen after the World Series. I don't know if it's going to happen at winter meetings where hopefully I might run across him. But it's going to be a request made by me and our network and through some friends of friends that know Rob. Um I, I just I would love to get his his take on this, and you know I'm gonna tr- I'm not gonna try and pin him into a corner. I'm I'm just gonna try and ask the most sensible questions possible. I would love to talk to Rob Manfred. I would love to get just a few answers. I would love to to know, and I'm not even gonna, I'm not even hinting here what my questions are. Not giving anything away. Again, no tricks. Just straight up honest questions, and I I would love the immediate response and answer. So I just want to let all of you know to. Uh, to understand where I'm at on this, I would love to have a conversation with him that gets televised. 10 minutes, 10, 15 minutes is all I need, hopefully by the end of this calendar year. So thanks for watching this video. And again, uh, what what you saw today, hopefully now by watching this video, you understand it's different than what you would have heard today if you listened to that entire interview and understood it fully.